the Siemens DALI Diagnostic Tool, a short video instruction. The operation of any bus system often causes trouble, which can't be solved simply by trying to download the bus devices once and once again. The reason for the malfunction can be the bus wiring itself or defective hardware. Sometimes also user errors are responsible for certain malfunctions. For DALI in most cases, from our experience, the ECG are causing the trouble, not the gateways. Therefore, Siemens has developed a simple DALI diagnostic tool in order to analyze problems and have some data ready before calling the support, if the regular commissioning live tool in the ETS application for DALI doesn't work. The tool is called DALI Diagnostic. It can be operated with the following DALI gateways N14103, Single Plus, N14131, Twin, and N14121, Twin Plus. The Siemens DALI Diagnostic tool must be installed as usual. After installation, you start it and see this main page. The communication with the DALI bus always requires one of the previously mentioned compatible gateways. Since these gateways only have two access interfaces, KNX and DALI, the external access point is KNX. Actually, all available KNX bus interfaces can be used. Make sure you are also running ETS3 or higher on your PC because of the interface driver called Falcon. The workflow to establish a communication with the DALI bus is simple. At first, you select one of the interfaces which you can see when you press the button Select Interface. Next step is the selection of the corresponding DALI gateway. If its KNX physical address is unknown, it can also be retrieved through the well-known procedure by pressing the device's program button. Otherwise, you enter the physical address right here. Note the result line. It will always tell you what the tool has done before. So I will connect the DALI Gateway Twin Plus with the address 10.9.5 now. Result successful. If you want to analyze another one, you have to disconnect the previously connected one first. Yellow result bars will tell you that something is in progress. Here there are the various tests the tool makes to retrieve the available information from the ballasts. The colors red and green in the result bar are self-explanatory. On this screen now we have the fault-free result of a bus analysis by pressing Search ECG. The tool has found 9 ECG, all of type 0 fluorescent tubes but can also be other ECG. In my case, I have used three three-channel LED drivers, which use the generic type 0. The list contains the info about short and long address, the random address. If there is an address conflict and four more properties of the ballast, if available. Last column shows the CIN, chip identification number which is used presently only by OSRAM. So here there are no codes visible beside all digits being on FF. Test options. Init, init all ECG, clears the ballast's memory and has some randomized new addresses. This is used to get rid of conflicts, which are caused by duplicate short addresses. ECG, all ECG on, off, ECG blink. Self-explanatory. Read failure status. Returns present condition of ECG. Lamp on, off or invalid condition. Read dimming value. Self-explanatory. Example. Solving an address conflict. The automatic addressing algorithm 
in the DALI Live tool in ETS can only handle hardware which is on power. At first, it scans the bus for all ECG which are online. Non-ambiguous ones will be left unchanged. Those bearing ambiguous short addresses will be initialized. That means the short address will be erased and set on 255. The long address will be randomized once more. Then these initialized ECG will be assigned three short addresses in ascending order. In my sample, I have initialized only three ECG. They have got the short addresses 0, 1 and 2. I switch them off again and initialize another set of three ballasts. They also get the same short addresses 0, 1 and 2, but different random addresses. Then I turn them on together and scan the bus again. Result is a triple address conflict. With the tool or with the ETS plugin, you can clear the conflict, however, you won't be able to assign dedicated short addresses to the ECG. This is only possible with professional tools of the manufacturers of ECG. So now make sure that all ECG are online before you start another initializing process. Mm -hmm.